Howdy folks, this is Tina, aka Tima to some folks. And today I'm going to show you how I organize my drills, the choices I've made on, on which containers to use, uh, including my leftover drills. I'm also going to show you the differences in our drills. We have a lot of questions about this all the time, so we're going to show you the differences in our drills and a few uh, behind the scenes here with the children, etc. Now don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and to comment under every video in a given month to be entered into our monthly $25 gift card giveaway to our shop at Diamond Painting with Sparklers or dpwithsparklers.com. dpwithsparklers.com, you will be entered for a $25 gift card drawing. Each month we're gonna give one of these away to everyone who likes, subscribes, and comments under every video in a given month. Now, last month wasn't too hard. There were only two videos, and we're gonna have the drawing for that winner very soon. Okay, let's get started. So let's go over the differences in the drills that we carry. First, I'm gonna show you the plain ones. So we have four plain colors that we carry. That was by mistake, but that's why we have those four. So there's a plain 666 red out. We don't normally carry plain. Those come in your kits that you get. And our business started when we wanted to bling up a painting and add extra sparkle in certain areas. So we carry AB drills. So AB drills, the AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are round, 666. These are square, 666. So these were the regular drills with a coating of AB on top that reflect different colors, okay? So they, um, they're they shinier than your plane, and they'll highlight certain areas. Now note that once a drill is covered, has this AB coating, it can slightly change the color. So even though this was 666, you have hues of oranges and yellows in here, and the darker the drill gets, the more it's changed. So for example, um, a 310 drill, for example, it um, doesn't even look black anymore. So if you want to keep a, a, a painting that has say, a distinct black outlines that offset colors, you don't want to replace those area with an AB310. You would want to use the AB310 say on um, the body of a dragonfly or butterfly or the eyes of an insect or just certain areas that you want highlighted and they will really pop out. But the plain 310 keeps the outline distinct. Okay, so the, those are the plain and that's what AB coating is, stands for Aurora Borealis. And it's a special coating process that goes over the tops of the drills. And sometimes in that coating process, the bottoms of some of the drills may be covered we don't have control over that. There'll be a few of those in, I think I see one of them right there might not even be covered. And sometimes there's even a few little stray pieces of uh, the, I don't, the coating left in the back. That happens. Okay, so now we're gonna go to, oh, let's, let's look down here at the jelly. So look at, we have a few jellies left nine different colors of jelly still available and this was the 666 jelly and i put here the difference that is the regular ab 666 and that's the jelly 666 so jellies are more opaque their coloring is not transparent or i should they're they're neither transparent nor opaque and therefore the in between and i called them jellies so that's why those are called jellies. However, they don't make them anymore. I'm not sure why. So we have nine colors left and when they are gone, they're gone. Can't get those anymore unless China changes their mind. So what we have in stock is what we have in stock. So we have nine colors left of that. I did forget to mention on our round AB, we currently have 84 different colors of round. 
on our square ABs, we have 55 square colors, and that includes the nine jellies. Okay, also we still have the sets available. We have many sets with 35 different round colors in it and 30 different square colors in it. Our bags uh, normally come in a Ziploc baggie like this with the AB drills, and there are 10 grams of product in each bag. We do not count the weight of the bag. We did that in the very, very beginning and um, realized our mistake and didn't want to shortchange the customer. So we give it 10 grams of product in the bag. And that this is how the um, AB drills and crystals come bagged in these little reusable, if you want to, Ziploc baggies. Okay, so the crystals. Now there is a crystal or rhinestone. So they are transparent in nature. The darker ones seem less so, of course. But those, that's 666 right there. See the difference? Look at that. So that is a crystal rhinestone. Now, one of the things about crystal rhinestones is that occasionally they have defective ones in, um, in their batches. It, it, it is just the nature of their making them. So I left those two in there on purpose. One is coated with all with silver. One, it looks flat. It's not flat, but it looks flat. And that means the bottom is concave. And so I don't use those. I just pick through those, pick the ones I want. There's always gonna be a little bit of trash in there. We can't help that. We cannot pick them out like we tried to in the very beginning. We just don't have enough time to do that. So again, your ABs and your crystal. And the crystals only fit on a round diamond painting. Okay, so those are 2.8 millimeters and they only fit on a round diamond painting. And squares, if you didn't know that, are 2.5 millimeter. And then round again is the 2.8 millimeter for the ABs. Okay, then since we're talking about crystals, oh, and let's see, I think I might have said that already. We have, well, we have 66 different colors of crystals currently. And just a little FYI, I'm always trying to get new colors. Sometimes we run out of colors and sometimes I can't get them again. So if you want something, especially for a project, get as much as you need for that project. Because the other thing is um, batches, just like wallpaper or paint or skeins of yarn or um, even cross stitch thread, different batches, even though they are supposed to be the same color, can be different and it's out of our control. I'm sorry, it, it, it happens. Um, we had one color come in, a customer <laughs> ended up pointing it out to us and we had to totally change the number on that color um, just because it came in so much different than what we ordered. Okay, so crystal and then here's a crystal AB which we've named Frost. So, and I'll show you the difference between this crystal AB in our original sparklers in just a minute. But see, there they are. So again, the crystals are acrylic. They are lighter in nature um, than the sparklers, which we'll get to in a minute. Well, well, we'll go to those right now. So these are our original sparklers. That's what this color is. There are the ones for round diamond paintings. And the ones for square diamond paintings these round drills in a square diamond painting. Yep, that's true. It, it works, trust me. So these are the size of round drills, approximately 2.8 millimeter, and these are 2.5 millimeter. And guess what? Even on a square diamond painting, they look beautiful. You can't tell, and they pop off the page, as you can tell. So. I think of sparklers are always glass, just so you know, sparklers are glass. If it says sparklers or sparklers four squares, S for S, yes, they will come to you and they're round, but they fit onto your square painting. You did not order wrong, we did not send them to you wrong. So, but they are always glass. You get about 1400 in a bag. And um, that original color is my favorite. If you don't know where to start, start there. It can go on just about anything you want to highlight. Um, 
in a painting. Water, sky, tears, anything almost that you can think of. Oh, look. Well, there's my sparkle painting right there. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Now, I realize the lighting is different, but you see the don't let anyone dull your in white? That's all white ABs. All of it. Let's see if we can get a little closer. That's all white ABs. And if you get it in a certain way, those will pop out at you during the day. But look at the difference. That's the difference. The word sparkle is in original sparklers. And so I call original sparklers, the shine is like ABs on steroids. They're like a diamond ring. They are gorgeous and make any of your diamond paintings very, very special when they are used. And we have Let's see how many different sparklers we have right now. Um, I didn't look. Great. We have a lot. <laughs> we have probably um, 75 or 80 different types of sparklers right now. Oh, and since these crystals don't come in squares, and we just bought sparklers that are not coated in AB, so we actually have more plain colors of sparklers for squares than we do regular sparklers. And the reason is, is because regular sparklers are the size of crystals. So if you wanted those type colors, you would buy them in crystals and cost you less money. Then the S for S, we had to carry those. So let's say you wanted a plain red in squares. Well, you just get the S for S red. Um, and that's what you would get. And that would be your crystal substitute but on a square painting, okay? And let's see. Um, so that's the frost. And see, there's the difference between, those are glass, the original sparklers, and the frost. So it's different. Frost is almost like ice. That's why I named them that. We do have glow drills in square and round. Now, folks, I know the glow does, the black does not glow as well as the white. Um, folks insisted we get that. We did order it. They do not glow as much. It's on the website. It says it right there. Uh, you can charge these by natural light. You can charge them by a CFL bulb. I charge the black by a CFL bulb in my lamp. Um, honestly, the best way they can glow is a black light. Uh, black light is almost instantaneous. Even here with all this bright light, you're going to see right there, it's already starting to glow there. So the black light is the best way to get them to glow. And there is a little hint of green in that. But they don't glow as much. They just don't by nature. But we have those in both square and round. And honestly, if you needed a replacement drills if somehow you lost square your square or round white or black drills those will work they'll glow in the dark but they'll work for that um okay so some of our newest addition are these square five millimeters uh, or the five millimeter squares so and they're crystal they are crystal and this one is a red or scarlet plain and then this one is the one we added during the holidays. It's a red AB. So you, they took, they take these plain, the plain color crystals and they coat them. Okay, so this one has that AB reflective coating and this has just the red. Now, what is great about these is they will cover four so four spaces on a square diamond painting or four spaces on a round diamond painting. And I'll insert some pictures of both of those used for you because it's amazing how those look and it just makes you, you have a unique create, a creation of your own. When you have a diamond painting, every, you know, there's hundreds of diamond paintings out there, but you can make it your own by adding these drills where you want to and sprucing it up 
Okay, also some of our newest additions were these half pearls. So these are six millimeter half pearls here. We'll also insert pictures of how we use them in um, butterfly eyes. But just think buttons, anything, teddy bear eyes, anything like that. Those are six millimeters. So those go on a round. Only on a round they replace four of your spaces on a round diamond painting. And these are the yellow 973 half pearls right there. Those are coated with an AB coating and those will work on any round diamond painting. Okay, so in here I wanted to show you something. These are sparklers for squares, so S for S. Again, that means they're used on a square diamond painting, even though they're round. And the, it can be kind of confusing here because, so this is S for S mint, that's the color mint, and it's glow glass. So these will glow in the dark, but so do these. They're also mint. So what's the difference? And these cost more too. Well, the difference is these are opalized. And in this example, you can see how the regular mint is, has almost a yellowy color, whereas the opalized, um, in this particular shot, it looks a little bit greener, but it also is almost clearer, even though it still looks more like an opal. And so it costs them more to do that, and therefore it costs me more to buy them. So um, those are the differences between an opalized sparkler and a non-opalized sparkler. And those are the same colors, one's opal, one's not. And we have several varieties of those. We also carry some neons and sparklers, which means glass, remember? And I wanted to show you the difference in these. So we have sparklers. See, here's sparklers and neon lemon, right there. Neon lemon, I love neon, if you didn't already know. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my room. I love neon, I love rainbow. I love bright colors. That is my language. So, um, neon. These are neon AB. So these are they've taken the regular sparklers and coated them with the AB. So there is a little bit more shine and reflection on those when used on a painting. And you lose a little bit less of the oomph of the neon. Still there but you do lose a little bit of that because the AB is coated there. So if you want really, really bright, just get them without the AB. Okay, and uh, just to note, uh, well, I think I already did mention that we are, we are going to, even though we're out of them now, those were big head over the holidays. I didn't have many, I know, but we're gonna go ahead and pick up some more sets of the plain squares and the plain rounds. Some people thought these were sets of ABs. They do not make all 446 colors in AB currently. These are just plain because people kept asking for them. They were hit, so we got more ordered of these sets. We are going to even put more in those. We've requested more be put into each little bag. They will come in their own zippered baggies, all labeled and ready to go, saving you hours and hours and hours of organizing by having that done ahead of time. Although it does cost us more, of course they weigh more, so that's going to cost more. Let's get those out of the way. And let me go over my list to make sure we're doing it, telling you everything that we need to. Oh, I don't think that I mentioned this, but if you'll notice, this one isn't on our website yet. We have 11 of these that we listed during the holidays. So where did this come from? Well... We're going to have more colors. We don't have them bagged yet, but they are in. We're going to have more plain colors and more offerings on that. And um, let's see. Oh, and the trays. These trays here, the purple, the blue, and the clear, we offer those in the shop. So those are available in the shop. dpwithsparklers.com if you want to pick those up. Oh, and as far as the uh, neons go, we have uh, 15 colors of neon drills. And 
We also have checkoff sheets. Let me see if I can grab one of those checkoff sheets. Of course, I forgot it. All right. So these checkoff sheets for all of them, round AB, square AB, sparklers, S for S, and crystals can be found under the facts page on our website, dpwithsparklers.com. It can also be found in our Diamond Painting with Sparklers Facebook group under files. So you can download and print those off and check off what you have. Note that those do change. When we run out of colors we can no longer get, we will change the list. If we add new colors, that too, um, we will add to the list. Okay, so part two, let's go into storage and organizing. Guess what I started to finally be able to do during the holidays? I started organizing my own drills. It's the first time. So in a year and a half, I've started. I've gotten this started. So let's see. What do I have here? This is what I chose to go with. Let's go over a few of the choices I had before. i show you why and what I started with. So there's craft mates. You can get these at Michael's on Amazon. This is what they look like inside. It's kind of like a book in there. They store lots and lots of drills in each container, but you have to push this down and lift. So uh, most often you have to do that with two hands. I also don't like that I can't pour that into a tray very easy if I'm in the middle one here. So I didn't like getting in and out of that, even though it's a clever system and I love the look of it. Um, and those were more expensive to go with too. Now, I will tell you that Michael's, you can use your 40% off and occasionally 50% off to get those at a good deal if you like those. Um, over here um, is the Elizabeth Ward storage trays. And I used those a lot in the very beginning. These are leftover well, they're not left over. These are two projects that are not finished. I'll tell you all about that in a little bit. And these drills, I mean, excuse me, these containers, I liked in the very beginning the best. Although it, they were so hard to open in the very beginning, I would, my thumbs would not get blisters, but they would be so red. See, they're just so hard to open. Almost, And you can't do it with one hand. But they're pretty expensive. Those are pretty pricey, and especially now, there seems to be some little shortage of them. Now, I know people get coupons on these, and you can get some of these at Joann sometimes, etc. So you just got to be on the lookout of really good coupons for these. But those would add up. And what I ended up myself choosing was Harbor Freight containers. So I already had lots of these Harbor Freight containers. And if you don't know, Harbor Freight's a store here in the U.S., it's a um, tool store, so my husband doesn't mind going and picking them up for me when I need them. But I already had several sets of these that I was using for different um, kits. So I decided to use those. And there are some advantages and disadvantages. So a lot, of, they're so light, see that? They're so light that sometimes they would tip back. When you don't have, when they're filled with drills, you don't have a problem. But when I get low on drills, they would sometimes tip back. And I did not like that. So we went over and went over ideas. And we finally decided to glue a fender washer. The newest size we got is 1 8 by 3 quarters. My husband originally got um, this 1 8 by 1 inch. And we glue them in there. We use Gorilla Glue or E6000 Craft Glue. You can get that anywhere. Walmart's where we get ours. And we just glue that in the bottom. Using a toothpick, we use a toothpick, glue that in the bottom. Because, oh, the reason there's a little hole in the fenders, the reason we chose that is because down in the bottom of that box is a little pump. And this fender washer fits perfectly over that bump once glued in and you can see it right <laughs> anyway then it doesn't flip over anymore so i can have that top open and the with the drills doesn't flip over i love it um again i guess because it has such a wide opening it makes it easier to pour into and out of but also makes it a wide opening 
uh, for possible mishaps. And the only other thing I don't love about it is almost always, of course, one of the exceptions when I try to show you, but almost always the drills will get caught down in this. Um, if you gotta, you gotta knock them off every time you do it from the hinge so that when you open it up, you don't lose a couple. And of course, when I wanna show you, none get caught. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's the only other downside, I think, of those. Now, I was gonna have many, many, many containers of these, and then I saw someone in the group, in the Facebook group, use containers. These iris containers. Um, I got mine online at walmart.com and they're about 14 by 14 I think they might have been originally made for 12 by 12 uh, scrapbooking paper so they hold they can hold two layers of those Harbor Freight containers but I chose I I chose to stand stand them up on end like this so I can read them and see the colors and of course I have way more round than the space and I'm gonna we're gonna have more I I did finish the rounds I labeled them I labeled all my things with my Dymo Letra tag. Mine's old. I just decided to use what I had instead of buying a new one and get color in all these different um, symbols on it. And then there's crystals and then there's a square. And of course, I haven't gotten to my sparklers yet because I ran out of little containers with the uh, weights in them, the little washers in them. So we have to glue more. And I finally got to that over the holidays. Finally, finally getting to store my own drills. I'm so excited about that. Now, another um, way to store leftover drills. Now, these are leftover drills. So now I'm going to show you how I stored my leftover drills, which mm, I haven't done in quite some time. But this is how I had it. I use these picture boxes. Um, in this case, they're nicely printed boxes. You can get them on sale at Michael's. A lot of times you can get them for a couple bucks, two fifty, something like that. And I bought the foam board at Walmart, and then cardstock I had, and I just measured and cut um, the foam board to fit, and these little cardstock, and then I stored all my leftover drills in there. I put the numbers in there. And uh, I had a round box, a square box. I have the crystals and special gem, gem box, and then a numbered. Um, and of course, if I went right now and and went through all of my leftover drills from diamond paintings, I don't think I'd have space in here anymore. So more than likely, I'll combine all these these crystals that I had left over into my own crystal storage containers over here figure out which numbers they go with, etc., so that I might end up with, say, two round ones, two square ones, etc. I don't know. Um, I know there's all kind of different ways. I saw someone do a um, three-ring binder and uh, with baseball card holders on there. That, that was pretty neat, too. And let's see. Oh, I did forget to mention that Xyron sticker maker. I I use that when I'm when I was kitting up kits before they came out with their own stickers. A, a, a few companies now have their own stickers, uh, and but before I used to run the the numbers down through here and make the own you know my own stickers on there. Of course, here I started using a marker which comes off with alcohol. And here I had cut little labels at the time and made my own. Okay. So, oh, so the next thing I wanted to show you that I was able to finish over the holidays was the colorful lion DP. Yay. And if you'll notice around his eyes, let's see if we can get the light to sparkle. Because crystal, it's an all crystal, almost all crystal DP. Uh, on this one. Uh, this one didn't have any of the special sizes of the different drills on this particular one. Um, but around his eyes, if you'll notice the sparkle around his eyes, I put original sparklers there. 
These say 30 by 30 on the canvas, but the actual drill size is a 25 by 25 centimeters. And it's not quite full, but it's almost full, which is why I love them. They make a great snack between big diamond paintings. So they, you can catch your breath, get through one quickly if you're in a hurry. I use a lot of these for traveling. When I travel, I like to take these little guys with me. The hospital visits, <laughs> well, can't do that right now. Last year, that's what we did. And, um, and we have more of these coming. So I have more, this one's in our shop. This one's listed in the shop. And we have more ordered from the slow boat with China. Um, and just so you know, the cost of goods are being raised on us. I'm assuming that's across the board for most everybody, but our cost of goods for products are, are costing us more. And the price of shipping has also gone up by 200% from last year. Shipping is almost half of the product price. It is crazy. So one of the things we're going to have to do is reevaluate the, re the pricing on our site. Um, we've had the retro pricing now for all of December, a little bit in November. So almost two months we've had that retro pricing. I hope that y'all have enjoyed that. We are going to have to reevaluate that pricing and decide um, how we're going to do things as we go further. Oh, and another thing we're going to... Uh, have our own line of diamond paintings this year. We're very excited about that, but it has been a very, very long and tedious process. Um, communicating with China when they're on the other side of the world means many late nights, a lot of misunderstood conversations, going back and forth, correcting things, making sure they understand what you are asking for. It takes a lot of time and effort to do this. Um, but the, our first two diamond paintings that we're going to be producing are on the way. So they're on the way. I realize that two compared to a lot of other companies is nothing but is a start. And that was never my intention to have diamond paintings. It really wasn't. But my heart is in mixed diamond paintings. I love when to mix drills. So I wanted to mix drills on a canvas and that's what my focus will be is that every one of my canvases will have regular um, drills ab drills and crystal drills and some might even have special shapes so we are very very excited about that so let me ask y'all the question of the video so today's question Remember over here, I said I would talk about these drills being in here. So over the holidays, I was able to finish all of the diamond paintings that I had going. And I'll show you those later. One was the crystal uh, bird lant with the lantern. Um, the, the ones that I had started before. Oh, my, my puppy that had died um, this year. We got to finish both of, I got to finish both of those. I'll show you finish on those later. But um, I realized when I was getting ready for this video that these were still here. So technically not every one I've ever started is here. And here's why. My first year diamond painting, I bought at least a dozen, maybe 15, customized um, diamond paintings in square from Huacan. And that's when they had their popping drill fiasco. And all of those are popping drills. And... Even though I obviously customized them and I absolutely loved the paintings at the time. I, I think I'm going to give myself permission not to finish them. I don't know what to do with the canvases. I have um, no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do with them. But here's my question. Would you finish canvases with popping drills? And if so, why? And if not, why not? Now, I will tell you that we did finish about seven of them already. We had to glue one of them, put glue on top of one and seal it, I should say. Seal the top of one with some glue. Um, 
we've given we had we even gave one away as a gift because it was for my father and it's framed but it is so frustrating to work on them and i think it defeats the one of the goals of this craft is to have a relaxing craft so again the question is would you finish a popping a diamond painting with popping drills or not why or why not that's the question for the video would you finish a diamond painting with popping drills so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was extra, extra long this time because I am trying to enter into Mrs. Coffee's um, creator event and you had to have an hour long video. And I know I've been, spl I'll be splicing a lot of little things on here too, because I'm going to be adding some videos of the kids doing work, etc., to the end of this video. But um, doing an hour long video that's not whip and chat is pretty hard. I have a couple other things that I want to show y'all and continue to show y'all. And I hope we get to that. Oh, as far as being a YouTube creator, I, I don't even know if I consider myself that. <laughs> but that that's not why I started. We, we just started the business. And I needed a place to explain things to when people kept asking again and again. So, for example, the differences in the drills. I think this is a great uh, time to do that, although it's on a very long video. So, um Maybe I'll do a whip and chat one day. I did buy an arm. I bought a special light and an arm for to hold my camera. So maybe I will be able to do a whip and chat one day. But anyway, don't forget to always shine bright and don't let anyone dull your spark. My last video was not even close to an hour and <laughs> since Mrs. Coffee's uh, challenge to do an hour video is through January 15th, I am now going to put an addition onto this video on what I do with finished diamond paintings. So you are going to get a look into my world that has never been shown. Okay, here we go. So, um, I first heard about the Itoya Pro Folios from Jennifer at DP Diamond Addictions. And um, I got the biggest one. And I also have this other one, a multi ring. And it's a 14 by 17 for my smaller DP. So, let's get started. This was my first Diamond Art Club painting. First time I'd heard about AB drills. Believe that or not, huh? Diamond Art Club. I bought this one because it had AB drills in it. And it turned out beautifully. I never thought that uh, having purple in there would work. And it does. That's great. Um, so, Jennifer, she uses washi tape around the edges. She adheres them to the pages. I haven't. So, I also... On this one, I didn't get it where you put in extra pages, which is good because it would have been too fat if you did. That's my first square right there from Diamond Art Club. I believe that's JoJo's art, and I love how that turned out. So mine are not adhered in there on the pages, as you can tell. And if I had to, had to do that again and cut that out, I would have left just a teeny bit of white around there, just as a kind of a border, but... I was, it was, I was learning, and um, but this is just how I have them displayed right now. This one was a custom crystal diamond painting I got on AliExpress from Lao Jiwan, and I added some sparklers, the eye areas and the teeth areas. Um, let's see, that's probably 50 by 50. No Walmart right there, partial. I love the bright colors, and they're fun and quick to do. Now this one, Color Outside the Lines, was made by Nancy Higginbottom on Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting channel, and I was a winner. So this, um, I loved, love, love the colors on here. She specifically made one with no black in it, and I love that. And that's the first diamond painting I had to seal, or I, I sealed with the Tombow Aqua Glue with that. Let's take a peek and see how that's holding up after all this time. Let's see. Not too bad, huh? So 
So it did fill in the cracks a little bit, but um, look at that, it still shines. But I needed to seal that one, so I did. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I'm new to this YouTube thing. I'm still learning. I don't have a great setup right now. Just holding this iPad in my hand for now. So, um, I love crystals. I'm a sucker for crystals. That's a partial. Somewhere on Al uh, AliExpress, I got that. This is, um, ooh, now this one's from Blushing Blackbird. And Christina Pizarro I used to sell all crystal diamond paintings. And, um, Rain, I cannot remember the her first name. Blushing Blackbird was her, was her Etsy name. And before that, she sold on Amazon for a little bit. But um, she's not selling anymore right now. Now, these are some other of my favorites. I love, love, love special shape partials. They're just so fun to do. And the ones with these built-in borders. I just think they look finished. And I just love them. I have fun doing them. So I love doing them. Now, this one. This one was from Diamond Shop. So I paid an arm and a leg to get this one because it had their electric diamonds in it, which are the same thing as our original sparklers. So, turned out pretty though. There's more. Again, I love the special shapes and I have so many more. Oh, look at that. Now, did you see any of the jellyfish? You get the glint just right. You can tell where I put the original sparklers in there. Because those are, look at on that, uh, oh, that. The original sparklers will were, were jump out at you if you um, get the angle just right. And they just jump off the page like that. One. And that's why I try to add them to most anything. Bling it up even more. Oh no, this one was so much. So this one with a diamond dot, I got on special with Michael's. Maybe it's there, I'm not sure. But I was so surprised when it had all these um, big special gems in here. And it was so much fun. Yes, it's only partial, but it's so fun to complete. And again, mine don't have adhesive on there. Jennifer, she used the spray adhesive and I believe, or taped them down to the black pieces of paper. And, and even um, put borders around the pictures with washi tape. But I always wondered if I was gonna um, move them or not. So, okay, first time I finish showing this one. I finished my pepper. So this was sent to me as a gift from Lisa Richmond on Facebook. She got me a custom diamond painting. She has DPO Diamond Painting Outlet Store on Facebook in this custom. This was, she saw me post that I had lost her. She took the picture off my Facebook page and made a custom and sent it to me. What a surprise that day was. So this was bittersweet working on. But there she is. And that's special. That was on the way to the vet. Was last spring. Miss Pepper. She was tiny. The picture's hard to show. She's on a lap there. She was two and a half pound chihuahua. Oh, look here. So I got two from Lucy at Star Roar. I don't know how you say that. How do you say that? Star Roar, Star Or. I don't know. I should ask Lucy. But um, this was the fairy. And of course, the added sparklers all throughout her braids. And um, this one is a mix of regular drills, crystal drills, AB drills, and more sparklers. And her eyes and a little bit of sparklers. Now, I, on any diamond painting, they're yours. Make them yours. I didn't like the little red spot that was in the middle of her forehead. You know what? I, as a matter of fact, there's a little story behind this one. When Lucy first started out, she had a couple of uh, images, 
and uh, she was asking people, what are more images you want to see? Well, I sent her this one. I sent her a picture of this. I said, I love the colors in this, love this. So what she did is she took the image and then she wrote the words on the image, bless this home. And she produced this one. And of course I was very excited about that. So I got that as soon as it became available. And I bling the sucker, I bling this one a lot, a lot. So the whole entire cross is metallic drill. The entire cross. Now the kid already came with some AB drills. Um, not that, those sunshine. So I got sunshine going on here. But it had a few AB drills here. The words are, are crystal. And so I think the yellow and green came with the kit. Everything else, um, of course, the spark was around the, so, around the words. So this had black around the words. And black would make it pop, but I put sparklers around it instead. Uh, original sparklers. And then all of these are the metallic sparklers in there. So I don't know if the diamond painting can have too much paint. Yeah, it might because then it would just be all bling and not accent. But that one has a lot in there. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so another one of my favorite suppliers is Amy over at crystalcanvas.us and the Crystal Canvas um, art group on Facebook. Now, see that certain angle? See at a certain angle, you, you see exactly where I put in all of the original sparklers. So you say, why on earth would you want to add original sparklers to an all crystal canvas? Well, that's fine. It even it blings it up even more. You see over there, there you see the um, sparklers jumping out at you over there. So this one, I don't know. Finished this last year. I was working on this when my grandson had his heart surgery. Chihuahua does. Uh, so we got sparklers in, in different places. I did AB drills. Again, I love. So this was an all crystal canvas, again from Amy. And I did all the hearts in AB or sparklers. And so, like, this is AB here. So I wanted them to, to jump out. So those are ABs, ABs. And this one inside, I did. Spark, uh, sparklers, sparklers, sparklers on the inside there. And then these are sunshine. And then the ABs. So it just, it makes them pop out. Oh, look over there at that mandala. See that? See those sparklers jumping off that page? And on this one, it took me a while because I wanted those hearts to be shaped. Sometimes they were hard to see, so I had to actually go in there and look at the original picture and go back and forth to see the actual shape of the hearts. And then I, I shaped them more than what they were and then did my customization. But it's your diamond painting. You can do whatever you want to do with that. Okay, here's another one from Amy. So that one also has customization to it. Original sparkler, sunshine here, original here, little bits of the sparklers here and here, even a little bit here. So look, and then the A, in the middle of the A. This P was all the sunshine sparklers on the yellow. Now look here.
take out the logo right now. Once we sell out of the logo, we'll the logo, we won't have those anymore. But I place, I use pointy tweezers with squares now, and I like the results better. And that, by the way, that's another thing to point out. That is S for S right there. So those are round pieces on the square painting. Bitty round S for S. S for S remember stands for sparklers for squares, S for S for short, and they fit perfectly in a square diamond painting. So those are little bitty round gems fit perfectly on that square painting. Let's see. And this is another one of our crystal canvas. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I still do it really good, but he said, all right, go on and guys. Okay, so this one took a lot of customization for that. Let's see. If I can get that out of there. The hinges on the lantern and the ring at the top are silver sparklers. The little light reflections here of sunshine, just like the plane. And <clears throat> the bird, I wanted him to stand out and not be washed out. So he took a long time, but I used on him regular drills to try to be different from the crystals and stand out a little bit more. So he's regular and AB drills on that. And the flowers, um, they took a little bit of work. I had to go in there with other drills from the kit, but I wanted to make it look more like the original and have more um, definition in the flowers and I added some ABs around the edges of the gourds around the tips of some of those flowers that kind of look like a reflection from the light coming and hitting them that's how I decide um, where to put some of the ABs so just look at the painting and see what would be natural again like the metal on the lantern or the light reflecting I also outlined the candle in um, AB drills because it seemed to blend in with the background. So in the picture, the candle goes all the way over there. So that part was AB as well. And on this um, portfolio, I actually still have room to grow here. It's going to be very fat because it is very heavy. It is hard to lift, honestly. It, and, and so if that gets filled up, it's going to be extremely difficult to lift. It actually lives under my bed, or the guest room bed. Okay, here's my smaller portfolio. So, I knew the small ones kind of get lost in the big one. Now, this one you could add pages to, but as you're going to see, I probably only have that halfway filled and it's already fat. So, because we're not doing things like um, posters or pictures, you, you really don't need to have the ones that have the rings because it's going to be hard to add any more to. That was my very first diamond painting after my daughter got me hooked. And there you go, rainbow colors of the heart. But that was my first one from Amazon. And um, again, these aren't glued. I have not fixed them in here. Maybe I should. <laughs> um, these are two diamond dots which I blinged up. I, I made that crystal in navy drills. Now, I guess I was wrong. Technically, this was my very first one. My daughter, this was my daughter's, my oldest daughter, Tiffany, who's also an admin in our Facebook group. She got hooked on diamond painting and bought some pictures off of Amazon. She did not know this wasn't a full drill when she first bought it. And she said, Mom, you should try it. I said, no, no. Well, she insisted. She brought hers over to do, and she insisted I do that. 
and uh, each of the kids in turn helped through the weekend. And I'm like, I don't know, my fingers hurt, my eyes hurt, my neck hurts. I don't, I don't know about this. Y'all can keep doing it. Well, the kids were hooked, and they asked for them for their birthday. So we went on Amazon, and that's when I bought my first full diamond painting on Amazon. But technically, this is the one that got us started. And uh, we bought birthday gifts. All the kids picked theirs out. Um, and I'm the one that's kept going. They barely do it anymore. They do have some, but they, they barely do it anymore. But that is, my daughter got me hooked and uh or introduced at least maybe i shouldn't blame her for getting me hooked i don't know that was uh one of our first diamond art club we bought those three that's a little one one of my sons didn't finish it so i finished it for him and again one of my partials i love my special shape partials diamond dots up here. Some big pearls in them. They have pearls. Um, this one was fun for me. This horse. Because there's so many different shapes in there. It was so fun. I love special shape ones. Okay, so you see on this, I just, I knew by this time, and sometimes I still don't remember it, like I didn't remember to do it with that one. But on this diamond painting, it's black background, and it would blend in. So I just left a little bit of the white around the edges, cut around the edges, and therefore it looks kind of framed in there, so to speak. Okay, this is one of those that when Diamond Shoppers came out with it, and it came with their electric diamond. Um, and then I discovered Lao Zhe Wan on AliExpress. That's an all crystal rainbow horse there. For the longest time, I thought it was a unicorn, but I don't see one. So it's a rainbow horse. There was one from Hula Can. So in, this one's unusual. In the middle, it's full, full drill. But then all around it had the crystals and the decoration of the border. And again, I left a, a, a space to cut around on that one. And again, just more of my special shaped ones. Little mandalas, mandalas, how do you say it? Tomato, tomato, I don't know, tell me. There's more trees. I had to try a tiny one. Yes, I did. So I leaned that baby out down here with the original sparklers. They're so fun. I like the peacocks. They'll put sparklers around it too. Original sparklers there. And uh, we're going to be carrying this in the shop. What I love about these is they're almost full. I love that. So they're special shaped, but it's almost full. It's not really a partial. So I don't know. But there's hearts on there and of course I put um, original sparklers I blinged it out like this sometimes I take just one color and highlight through the page or through the painting and again when the light hits it just right those sparklers will pop pretty little butterfly that was supposed to be cool so I did get a refund on that one just some more of those that are almost full this one I could carry. I think I should let me know. But what I did here, and the ones that I'm carrying right now, even though they are um, mostly crystal, they have different shapes, uh, different sizes of certain crystals. Um, and like here, I, I did the sunshine and the reflections down in here with the original sparklers to make that pop. But, but ours in the shop actually have a purple printed border around the edge, so it looks more finished. Here's all my little guys. Can you tell? I love them. Special shape. Special drill. Especially adding those original sparklers to all the different. 
different areas and making them happen. So this one we have in the shop currently. This one is ordered for the shop. And again, ours have the printed frame that you can cut off or leave on. This was a small little square kit from Diamond Art Club. This was when I first decided I was going to try original sparklers in square paintings, but some of my customers had been doing and they're too tight of a fit. And I said, if only they were a different size. So I had that epiphany and I said, well, let's see if we can find different sizes. And we did. So guess what? They fit perfectly onto a square diamond painting. So this diamond painting uh, has the original sparklers, those round gems in a square painting. Right there, I put the jelly, I put some jelly ABs here, square jelly ABs. And on this one, I customized it too. Down here, it had the artist's signature. Well, I didn't think that looked good. I just made more leaves. That's it, just made more leaves right there, covered it up. So again, do what you want up here. I made these look a little better. Some of the notes didn't look very good because that's a small painting. But you just tweak it how you want to, it's yours hearts, mandala, you see, you can tell where I put those original sparklers, right there, and give it the right, um, here we are, I just finished that over the holidays, one I've been working on for almost a year, just, but it was in my travel bag, so I never got to finish it, this one was special, I started this a year ago, um, when we went to go see my son, graduation from boot camp, He's now in Japan, he made it to Japan. He's in two week holding and quarantine right now and he's gonna be stationed over there on a ship. But this was a custom I had made on AliExpress. And of course I bling this thing out too. This is original sparklers all around here. And in the middle, I put those are glow in the dark. When you turn it off, um, you can see the cross. And this outside is also glow in the dark. The very outside, so I have AB, glow, glow, AB, sparkler, sparkler, glow. And then I put um, some neon sparklers in certain areas around it. Obviously the yellow, look at that pop off that page. But again, you got rainbow colors. And then the cross. I should try turning that off at the camera and get a Okay, we probably reached an hour point at this junction and the question is where do I put my bigger diamond paintings that I haven't put on a wall yet well this is one of them this is a cardboard box a moving cardboard box for saline mirrors and right now this is where I have a lot of these this can go these can go into the little one later i've shown these on another video these are all the ones that we carry in the shop that i've completed so far and added different things like ab drills black ab drills black ab drills here with some sunshine sparklers tweak the zebra i defined the ear on there different than where it was i didn't like the way it was i also didn't like the colors of the hair so i went back and i changed it made it stand up and look more like the original. More sparklers, added sparklers in the water reflections on their backs. This little guy only has sparklers in his eye. He's so cool. Oh, she, she, she. See, there's the difference. That one has the purple frame around it. And leopard. And I put, uh, we're almost sold out of this one currently. I outlined those in original sparklers and put AB drills in it. Of course, our little purple now. I put a lot of um, sparklers in the necklace up in here. Okay, so y'all have seen those before anyway. But this is where I keep um, the bigger ones under the bed in here. This was uh, one of the children's serenities. There again, the square, five millimeter squares. This is a square diamond painting. And it just replaces four spaces in my eye. This is a custom I had from Lao Juan again. 
on AliExpress. They made all crystal. If, if you wanted to do that, you look for Pebble Round. You go to AliExpress and look for diamond painting Pebble Round, and you find the uh, crystal. Of course, I I bling this one up too. This had this is filled with sparklers all in here. These are neons in here, neon and neon ABs. I mean, all all through here. All these are AB drills. Those are the big half pearls there. So there's sunshine sparklers in here with AB drills coming out. There's silver outlining the clouds, of course. You had to have a silver lining in the clouds. So that's what I did with that all crystal painting is I mixed all the drills in that. And this was Diamond Art Club, Chuck Pence and Space for Reflection. Love, love, love that man's work. And um, of course what I did here was I made the water uh, almost all crystal. I still left the reflections regular except for some of the um, sparklers here or in the window. There's uh, some sunshine sparklers in the window. Some maybe drills up in the trees. We added, I added frost to the um, clouds and that comes down the mountain stream and into the water. And that's what some of this is. That's frost in there. The door and the grill, that type of thing. But this is sparklers, sometimes sparklers there. This is one we did on uh, beach vacation this year. This is another Star Roar. And um, it was normal drills with a few ABs. So I blinged up the heart. Of course, it's rainbow with the heart, huh? So I love this. And um, I blamed out the heart. Everything in that heart is crystal or sparklers. The words surrounded, except for the, the regular drills inside the letters. Then I surround them with original sparklers and then a, a darker crystal to make them stand out. But that heart is blamed out. This one is from Lisa Richman, again at Diamond Painting Outlet. They had a paint along the beginning of last year, about a year ago. But I did with this one and I love the colors. And again, added our neons in here. So anywhere you see those really, really bright colors popping out, that's our neon sparklers. There. This is another one my daughter did. I love those. Those we just got on AliExpress. Those are squares. This is hers as well. It becomes storage for everybody. That's an all crystal one we got. Made this for my husband for Christmas a year or two ago. So, this is cool. Now, that was one of those Hula Can popping square ones. So, I wouldn't be surprised if there were actually any missing drills in there. Yep, look at that. did not see that yet. I always wanted to frame it and we just never did get to it. Now that was one of the first ones I customized with crystals and regular right here. Rainbow and love, but I really, really wanted to see what it was like. So we made the, I made the wings crystals, little bits in here. I um, put the crystals around the eyes and then I outlined the word with the original. another custom on AliExpress. What I didn't like about those customs, let's look at these white here. See the black background? That's dirt there. But you can see the black circles. So I don't like the black circles when there's white background. Crystal Canvas Dot US kit right there. A lot of time went in there to customize. We have sparklers in here with black ABs down the body and the eyes. We have ABs here, sunshine sparklers, and different things, like there's sunshine sparklers here and AB drills here. And I mirror on that side. So we changed this one up from what it called for. Make it my own, what you're allowed to do. 
and put black all the way around. Some of it was missing, or it just didn't have some black all the way around. I just did that to frame it, made sure that every section had black around it to outline it. This was one of the first I did that uh, it's from Michael's Diamond Art, I mean Diamond Dots at Michael's. And uh, again, it's when I had that uh, epiphany. Uh, this was a couple years ago and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can change a diamond painting and do what I want to do. Well, I'm going to take that clearance skull from um, Halloween clearance. So I bought that and I said, I'm making that into a heart and a cross. That took a lot of work. We figured it out. I did it. Oh, it had glow drills in it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, guess what? It's around diamond painting. And the skull was white with black drills. So that's what happened when I customized the heart over that. You can see right through that. Um, and you can see the skull in the background. So what did I do? Well, I just decided that the love and the cross overcame the skull. And I went ahead and outlined that skull in gray just to make sure then you could see it. So that love overcame the gray. And so that's what that meant to me. Um, I think this is now long enough. Sorry folks. And I do have one more place that I keep my big stash and I'll just have to show you all that another time. Because, um, <clears throat> I have a don't ask, don't tell policy, and uh, yeah, no one's supposed to know how many diamond paintings I actually have uncompleted, because I don't know either, so I'm not going to tell. But, again, don't forget to let your light shine, and don't let anyone dull your spark. So someone had asked to see some of my workers and be introduced to some of my workers. On the left there is Isaiah, writing numbers on the bags. Hi, Isaiah. And then the right is Gideon, my youngest boy. He's a 10 of 11. Isaiah's a 9th of 11. And they're bagging drills right now and getting, filling our stock back up and getting the bagging done. This is our um, downstairs kitchen. So, yes, it's messy. Bye, boys. Bye. This is Jedediah. Hi, Jed. Hello. He's finishing up the last orders for this morning so we can try to get them all out today before the mail lady comes. And if we don't, we have to run him into town. So this is, uh, he's one of the main order processors. You'll see his name. His nickname is Jedi. And you'll see his name on lots of your packing slips. This is our um, packing room. Again, those are the S for S on this side with some pins. Those are the sparklers on that side. All the aqua crates are AB drills, purple crates are crystals, down below the blue crates are S for S and square ABs, pink are still sparklers, up there are hot spotters, we've got stuff just about everywhere at this point, some of the pins and tools, there's all my other onlookers to keep me happy when I'm in here all day long. And um, my work area, those are the orders there that have been processed about ready to print out the labels and go out. And um, more pens, got more hot spotters to list. And there you have it. Thanks, Jed, for letting us see how you work. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here's our garage that we are trying to organize this new year. This is how we started in the garage with crates and open bags. And now, since we have to buy bigger minimums, 
We've just purchased some new shelving. So these are sparklers and drills that won't fit inside, of course. Mailers that I've tried to purchase enough for a few months. I was purchasing every month. So we have four shelves right now outside. Once we get organized, I'm not sure they're all gonna fit on there. We may have to get another shelf. I'm not sure. The pallets you see there are boxes we've purchased getting ready to mail new diamond paintings. And yes, I'm gonna have some diamond paintings this year. May not be a lot, but there'll be some. So we're getting ready for those. It takes forever. The process has been months in the work already. We're still waiting on the boats from China for the first two to come in. And there you have it. There's our outside, soon to be organized setup.